time I get off this, I can take them down because I was getting an echo, which was so weird. So I moved over to my other piece of technology. So hopefully we're streaming good and we're all good to go. This is Trish Andreessen behind the camera. You're not seeing my face right now. It is early morning and I am just having my coffee. But while I was sitting here warming up with my heater and my little Yes, Kurt, I have your little Carolina Panthers. That's my hubby, by the way. There, I have his Carolina Panthers throw over my feet this morning. I thought I would come on and share with you some additional tips on the wine bottle. So if you have watched um, the other wine bottle exercise, I will try to rename the titles to say session one and session two. So you can uh, be able to look at both of those. So I started with uh, some fabric. These are two different fabrics. And this is a large size wine bottle. And I uh, did a lot of decorating. And now what I want to do is just take it to the next level in polishing it up. So where uh, some of my seams have come through of where I have uh, put you know, the fabrics together in the curve of the wine bottle. I want to hide those so that way it's not as um, dominant to the public when it's sitting or um, I haven't decided if this is going to be a vase or if this is going to be a vase with fairy lights or if it's going to be a lamp. I don't know. Um, my sister lives um, only like an hour from me and when we had visited her house and her sunroom, she had a lamp and the base was a wine bottle. And I was like, that is cool. And make sure that you subscribe down below. And if you happen to see a little bell for notifications, make sure you hit that. So that way you can see that I go live because I have actually done art on uh lampshades as well. So this is where we could do the wine bottle and then we could actually do a custom lampshade over the top of it and really pull it all together and have an incredible piece work of art. So as I was processing this wine bottle, this has flowers. It has, uh, I, this could be used all year long. I mean, this was inspired by some fall colors but we also know in the summer that oranges and yellows are used throughout the year. So I think that this is a timely, a timeless piece that could be displayed in your home all seasons of the year. With that said, um, I focusing on this, wanting to maybe cover this in some way, I was like, okay, I would love to maybe um, look at, could I add like a 3D effect since this is flat? I mean, it has texture, but could I do something to the top of the, around the bottle with some other flowers to hide these seams? And this is teal. This is really, really pretty. However, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't go with the color um, theme that I'm wanting here. So what I thought I could do is instead of going and trying to find another couple of stickers, I got these from, um, I believe, well, I know I got them from the paper section in Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know what brand this one is. I use a lot of Paper Studio, but I don't know what this brand particular is, okay? But what I could do is I could put a little bit of the fall colors and just lightly go over without compromising the cool mixed media elements of this because it has like cool writing on the on the flower itself. One of my girlfriends makes paper flowers, so we're going to have to have her teach me one more time so I can teach you guys. Right 
there. That's just a little too. And of course, I'm using a little bit of paper, so I got to be really gentle because this is paper. This is water on paper, so I don't want to. And I don't mind the blue in there. I think the blue is really pretty. It gives us a nice pop of color. But what I'm doing is I just want to blend it into the actual art piece. We want to think of this as almost like it's it's landscape on a wine bottle. You know, you know what's the color palette that we're using? And it does sometimes. I mean, that's the cool thing about art is you can do funky and you can do all different colors and so forth. I wanted to take this as a feeling of a little bit more of a sophistication. So whatever we decide to do with it, we can. When I say decide to do with it, we can put it wherever we want. And it will be classy. I'm just going to turn this up. I'll turn this up here so we can move this back. I know my lighting's not great this morning because I had it situated here. But what I'm going to do is I'll move the camera back down. I really like it right there. So let's go ahead and move that camera back down here. The funny thing is, is I have not uh, tackled where the edges are of the things that I want to hide, but I absolutely love that flower right there. So we are going to pull out a little bit of this E6000 glue. I am a fan of bamboo skewers to put glue on. I have a doctor appointment this afternoon because my shoulder is messed up. So um, I haven't been able to lift to even go to the post office to send out a mailing yet. But I'm hoping that I can get a shot in there. And thank you to Kate for sending me the, I think it's pain train. Y'all have been sending me some presents, and I have to say thank you because it's been so sweet of y'all doing that. Okay, I so love this. Very exciting. Wow. And who would have thought? I had that laying around. What had inspired me was this paper flower that my friend um, Deborah had made for me. And I was like, okay. How could I incorporate the feeling of her into this bottle? I, of course, could have it here at the top as a vase, or I could actually, oh, wait a minute. I wonder what that would be like to wrap it around. Maybe not so much, but I am going to keep it to the side here because that's pretty cool. Tell me, do you want to learn how to do the paper flowers? That's why mixed media is so fun, isn't it? Because we can just do so many cool different things. All right. I love that flower right there. Just absolutely love it. Love it. I still have some fabric left over that I have not used yet. And I am trying to figure out, you know, because sometimes less is more. So we don't, I don't want to have the, the wine bottle too busy. But I haven't had it in my heart yet to cut up this flower. I just don't have it in me to do. However, I do have remnants of this flower here, this 
that I we could use along the stem here or along the the edges not stem I got flowers on the brain y'all flowers on the brain so why don't I'm gonna do did that come out so good look at that I'm so excited wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute I might have an idea hold the horses when an idea comes oh my gosh look Look how pretty that is, that we could swoop that right in. And then what that does is that hides some of that seam that I've been, that I am compelled to hide because it's driving me a little. Oh, that's it. Okay. Hold on. This is exciting. All right. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm just going to go not use my bamboo skewer yet. Put this glue down. Gonna kind of spread it across. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, share. Some of your friends might like getting some ideas, especially right now. Cold weather is coming up, and we're gonna be in the house more. And we're gonna want to be looking for cozy, homey things to do. And I want to be able to help you with that because it definitely brings me joy and I want to bring some of that to you. Slide this up just a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is good. So exciting. That's overlapping there on that piece of wood that I had already added. So I'm going to just trim. Slide this up just a little bit because I want it to come underneath that flower. Beautiful. So pretty. Love it. Who would have thought, right? That's why I always coach you on saying, you know, take a step back from the piece of work that you're doing for a little bit so you don't go to the point of no return. Because sometimes we can mess up something when we're on the right track thinking that it needs something else and stepping away from it for a period of time and then coming back to it allows you to have a new perspective. So much the case about life too, isn't it? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down on this right here and adhere adhesive this. flower a little bit to that. What I'll do is I'm going to add some, after this dries, I'm going to leave this flat. I'm going to add some Mod Podge onto these flowers because I want them stiffer and I want them to kind of lay upwards. You know, doing this wine bottle is inspiring me here, this 3D, to see what it, um, it would be like incorporating the pine cone effect into this right here. I'm still going back to this flower here, but for this particular piece of art, it might be just a little too big. However, I may have my friend Deb show me again how to um, do these so that way we can make them smaller. I love stories behind art. 
did you know this flower right here is the book from the horse whisperer i love that it's so cool it's on my list to work on a um design of a horse for a barn quilt i don't know if you've checked out my barn quilt designs or not but if you want to, you can go to gofindyourhappy.com. Check those out. Be putting some links in the descriptions. So, and then this is a doily here. I didn't know if I wanted to use the doily or not. I want to use. I want to make sure that I keep the words here. showing. So as I have shared with you to keep to step away, sometimes I'm getting ready to step away, I think from this, but this just to hit me one more time, I'm going to do this little piece of fabric into this little section right here. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely love that. I think it's time for me to cut this flower. Can't believe I'm saying that. Hope I do the right thing. On this particular one, I don't know where I would be able to buy this again. That's why I got this from. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. Really love it. All right, so I am going to step away from this right now. Hope you enjoyed this so far. Keep tabs, and I will show you the finished product as I continue to work on it. All right, have a blessed day, and just remember, go find your happy. Happiness leads through finding your passion and putting things to work for you, okay? All right, have a good one.